have the rowers to have a sense of contact with the other crew. And so right now, flying under the radar again is Oregon, picking up some seats on New Hampshire and moving a little bit into UC Davis. I'm not sure it's going to be enough for them to do that, but there's still a good 600 meters here for them to row. And here moves Oregon, taking up seats, picking up seats on lane three, UC Davis. Uh, their bow ball is now into the three seat, and it was into the two seat. UC Davis seeing that and taking it up to answer. Uh, so there's going to be a race here. Perhaps Oregon's move uh, more sustained will work. They've been a little bit more consistent through um, over over UC Davis. Washington just opening up uh, at the end of the deck. We're, we're going to go. Uh, As we approach the final 100 meters, it's still Wash U and UC Davis. And the Oregon Ducks are making a charge from the outside lane for a third place battle as they battle with New Hampshire. Wash U looking strong coming into the final 100 meters here as they increase the rate here, riding about two beats higher. The UC Davis Aggies coming into the home stretch. The battle for third is still wide open between the New Hampshire Wildcats and the Oregon Ducks out of Eugene. Wash U looking strong as each stroke they seem to be gaining slight ground on UC Davis. He's trying to hold off the third place battle between the Oregon and New Hampshire. The women of Wash U looking strong as they approach the line. It appears they will be your women's varsity four gold medals. Followed closely by the UC Davis Aggies and the battle for third is still open. As appears the Oregon has about a deck and they will hold on to that lead over New Hampshire. Picking up the men's varsity for B final, 150.